In this lesson, we are going to continue our conversation on counter strain, this time focusing on the lumbar region. Before I get into this video, I would like to make the distinction that this video will cover anterior lumbar tender points, but the subsequent video, which will follow this lesson, will cover the pelvic and sacral tender points. Now, the reason I'm pointing that distinction out to you is because depending on what primary literature you read, sometimes the lumbar, pelvic, and sacral tender points are all grouped together. But for me, I'm looking for ways to help your brain compartmentalize and keep all of this information straight. So again, the bottom line here is that this video will focus on anterior lumbar tender points, and the next video will focus on pelvic and sacral tender points. So luckily for you, that means you only need to know the anterior lumbar side, right? There's no posterior lumbar to worry about. That really technically falls into the pelvic and sacral section. So with that said, the only chart that you need to know in this video is what you see right here. Let's get started with the first anterior lumbar tender point. That's AL1. The location of AL1 is medial to the ASIS, the anterior superior iliac spine. The treatment position for AL1 is F stra. F-stra, flexion, side bending towards, rotation away. And you can see on my diagram here, this is a very crude depiction of the anterior lumbar area, but the AL1 tender point is located just medial to that anterior superior iliac spine. Now coming back to our chart, let's move on to the second anterior lumbar tender point, AL2. AL2 is located just medial to the AIIS, so that's the anterior inferior iliac spine. The treatment position for AL2 is F SART, so that's flexion, side bend away, rotate toward. Coming back to my really poorly drawn anterior lumbar area, you can see that that AL2 tender point, depicted here in blue, is located just medially to the AIIS. Now moving on to anterior lumbar tender point number three, that one is located just lateral to the AIIS. Again, we're talking about the anterior inferior iliac spine. The treatment for AL3, just like AL2, is f -SART. And I will pause here and point out that all of the tender points that will be located around the AIIS, which is AL2, 3, and as you'll see in just a second, AL4 as well, the treatment position is all the same. It's gonna be F SART. Coming back to my diagram, you see here that AL3 is located just lateral to the AIIS. And again, the treatment position is F SART. Let's finish up the tender points that are located around the AIIS by talking about AL4. So anterior lumbar tender point number four is located inferior to the AIIS. The treatment position, just like all of the other tender points that are located around the AIIS, is f -SART. So if we come back to the image, you can see that now depicted by that pink area, AL4 is inferior to the anterior inferior iliac spine. So again, the high yield takeaway from this conversation so far is that AL2, 3, and 4 are all located right around the AIIS. And you just need to memorize which one's medial, which one's lateral, and which one is inferior. And that's two, three, and four, respectively. Recall that all three of these tender points are located around the AIIS, which should cue your brain to remember that their treatment position is all the same. So that's going to be F SART. Let's wrap up this conversation by talking about the final anterior lumbar tender point. That's AL5. Anterior lumbar 5 is located on the anterior and superior aspect of the pubic ramus, and the treatment position is F sera. That's flexion side bending away, rotation away. You see that AL5 tender point depicted here in orange, again located on the anterior superior aspect of the pubic ramus, and that's it for the tender points on the anterior lumbar area. So you can see there's only five to memorize, Three are grouped right around the AIIS and all have the same treatment position, so it's somewhat easy to memorize. But this chart is all you need to know when it comes to lumbar. Now, because the locations are somewhat easy to remember because you're using landmarks, right? You've got ASIS, then three AIIS, and then pubic ramus. That's not the, the part that gives medical students problems. The part that's tricky to remember is the treatment position because as you can see, as you descend down through this chart, you have f straw, f sart, 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 and then f sera. And if that's hard for your brain to memorize, my mnemonic is literally kind of saying this in a 
somewhat of a rhythmic or song-like pattern. So I always go straw, sart, 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 Sarah. Straw, sart, 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 Sarah. And in order, one, two, three, four, five, it's F straw, sart, 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 Sarah. Recall again that on anterior tender points, generally speaking, those are all treated with a flexion component. So when I say this poem or this this song, if you will, straw, sart, 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 Sarah, I'm intentionally leaving out the F part to make it flow better and be easier to recite. But I say that knowing full well that because these are anterior tender points, there's obviously going to be a flexion component. So that wraps up this video. Again, anterior lumbar tender points, not too much information to know. You just need to know AL1 through AL5. Remember straw, sart, 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 Sarah for your treatment positions with the flexion component. And remember that you're using your landmarks to mark the location. So ASIS, then three, AIIS, and then pubic ramus.